Egypt, with its long, rich history, is home to many ancient wonders, stunning terrain, and even the world's longest river, the Nile. The river's fertile banks have supported groups of people for as long as humans have kept records. Over the centuries, invaders from Persia, Greece, and Rome conquered the Egyptians and brought new customs with them. Under Roman authority, Christianity spread up and down the Nile, eventually becoming the dominant faith of the area. But the Romans eventually lost control of Egypt to invaders from Arabia, and the new rulers brought with them a religion called Islam. Tolerance for other religions within Egypt began to fade, and life for the Christians grew difficult and even dangerous. This is Beshoi. He lives with his family in Egypt's capital city, Cairo. Like many Egyptian boys his age, Beshoi is obsessed with soccer, and he dreams of one day playing on the national team, nicknamed the Pharaohs. But Beshoi is different from other boys who live in his community. Unlike his neighbors, who only play on organized matches in the streets, Beshoi plays soccer for a prestigious youth club team, and this makes the possibility of him someday representing his country more than just a dream. When Beshoi decided to try out for his club, there were doubts and even concerns. Boys from his community are rarely accepted into elite positions, whether in sports or in jobs, but not because of a lack of talent. As a soccer player, Beshoi has the height, the blazing speed, and can shoot with either foot. The worries were because Egypt is a Muslim country, and Beshoi comes from a community of Coptic Christians. After the Arabs invaded in the 7th century, they called the Egyptians Copts and referred to all their customs as Coptic. The Arabs wanted Egyptians to follow the Islamic faith, so new laws were made to try and persuade them. Egyptians who chose to follow Islam were no longer called Copts. They were now Muslim, like the other Arabs, and they were allowed to continue living their lives without much change. Only the Egyptians who remained Christian were still called Copts. They were forced to pay higher taxes and had to live by new rules and different standards. Over time, more and more Egyptians turned to Islam, and today, only a small minority of Coptic Christians remain. They are likely the largest minority religious group in any of the world's Islamic countries. But after centuries of discrimination, oppression, and even violence, no one knows for sure how many of Egypt's 100 million citizens are Coptic. After the Islamic takeover of Egypt was complete, the Arabs did not want competition from Christianity. So they banned the building of new Coptic churches and forbade Christians from speaking about their faith in public. To be easily identified, Copts had to dress differently, and their homes had to be shorter than their Islamic neighbors. They could not own weapons, join the military, and were not allowed to lead, govern, or employ any Islamic Egyptians. Coptic Christians were even required to give up their seat any time a Muslim wanted it. Over the centuries, some of the oppressive rules for Egyptian Christians relaxed or disappeared completely. For instance, Beshoi's dad, Ash, owns a business, and he has many Muslim employees. Some have been with the business for years and feel like family. Today, it is very common for there to be friendships between Copts and Muslims. However, there are some people, known as extremists, who believe Egypt should only be a place for Muslims, and they have a long history of using violence and intimidation against Copts. Because of this, Egyptian Christians live under constant threat of danger. From about the 1970s on, despite generations of improvement between the religious communities, Muslim extremists intensified their aggression towards Coptic Christians. The violence has only grown during Beshoi's life. In 2010, when Beshoi was a toddler, a wave of protests and political uprisings known as the Arab Spring spread throughout the Islamic countries. It was a revolution that started with social media posts but quickly made it to the streets. The movement promised peace, and many in Copt communities hoped for positive changes in Egypt, but only a rise in violence followed. Since the Arab Spring, church bombings and burnings have struck the Egyptian Coptic community, and many people have been hurt and even killed. On December 11th, 2016, 
a bomb exploded during the Sunday morning worship service at Beshoy's church in Cairo. It killed 29 people and injured another 47. But luckily, no one from Beshoy's family was harmed. The Egyptian government now provides armed guards to protect Coptic churches, and killings have drastically reduced over the last few years. But Muslim extremists still make life uncomfortable for cops like Beshoy. He and his family are often screamed at on their way in and out of worship services. And because of regular kidnappings, teenage cop girls, like Beshoy's older sister, require someone to walk with them when going out in public. There are no official rules against cops playing soccer. But because of Egypt's tradition of violence and intimidation towards them, most Egyptian Christians stay away from things like high-level sports. Cops tend to focus on academics, business, and their Christian faith. So when Bashoi asked if he could try out for the prestigious soccer team, it shocked many in his community. Ash, however, was very proud of his son. Ash was once a great soccer player too, but had decided to quit the game before reaching a level where he would play with and against Muslims. He regrets that he never tried and didn't want the same for his son. Before Bashoi's tryout, he was very nervous, but encouragement from his dad and even from his dad's Muslim employees helped him overcome his fear. The men reminded Bashoi that what matters on the soccer pitch is a player's skills, effort, and attitude, not whether he or she is Christian or Muslim. And it worked. During his tryout, Bashoi played with confidence and courage, and not only did he make the team, but he is now the starting striker. He is loved and respected by his Muslim coaches and teammates, and is an inspiration to other Coptic kids. Some are even considering trying out for soccer teams next season. Life in Egypt is not easy for Copts like Bashoy. Any day, there could be violence or mistreatment. But Bashoy has decided not to live his life in fear of what could happen. Whether going to church with his family, walking around the city with his sister, or playing soccer on the pitch, Bashoy chooses to be brave. <laughs> 